If you're looking for a way to make your online community more valuable and engaging, creating a private Slack channel might be the perfect solution. As a creator, coach, or entrepreneur, you can provide your members with an exclusive space to discuss your content, share their experiences, and connect with you and each other. In this video, I'll walk through the steps of setting up your private paid Slack community, but before you do anything else, you'll need to create your Slack workspace in whatever channels you want your community to access and a new member space account, which is how you're going to accept payments for your community. After creating your member space account, it'll have you fill out some details about your website. Once you get to this products page, you're going to be adding some information about your Slack community. When it asks, where is your product? You'll want to select this external link option because the community is hosted on Slack and not your own website. And then paste the link to the community here. This will make sure that only paying members get access to the Slack link. And then before you click next, make sure to enable the member menu option. This will add a floating button to your website with a helpful menu that allows members to access the Slack link whenever they sign up or log in. When you click next, it'll prompt you to connect to a Stripe account so you can accept payments and get paid. And if you don't have one, it takes just a few minutes to set one up. Once you've connected to Stripe, it's time to set a price for access to your Slack workspace. Recurring payment is the most common option for online communities like this, but you can also choose from multiple payment, one-time payment, and free, and then fill out your other billing details below. This section right here is also important, so if you want to send your members directly to your Slack workspace after they sign up, you can put the URL for the workspace here, or you can send them to a community dashboard or something like that on your website. And finally, if you haven't yet, you'll need to install member space on your site, which is super easy and takes just a few minutes. Just follow the instructions for your CMS and then click verify install. So now that member space is installed, let me show you what it looks like to have it on your website and where members can find the Slack channel link in your member menu. So you'll see this floating button in the bottom right. Members can click on that and it'll have a section for your online community and a link to your channel right here. Because you've set your Slack channel to private, new members will need to be invited once they sign up on your website. But don't worry, you can automate the process by connecting your Slack and member space accounts via Zapier. I'll link some additional information about this in the description of the video, but when you choose a Zapier trigger, you'll want to select the new membership option, and then when you choose an action, you'll pick invite user to channel. If you want an example of a private paid Slack channel, be sure to check out Boss Project and I'll link it in the description. This is a member space customer that offers access to a private Slack channel for small business owners who sign up for the highest tier of their membership community, along with other perks like group coaching calls, a content library, and an online academy. And now you're ready to launch your paid Slack community. And just remember, you can always add more content and perks for your community members over time and even sell additional digital products on your website with member space. If you have any questions as you get started, just let us know.